In maths, we all know about the Pythagoras theorem. It says that if we have a triangle with sides A, B, and C, then C squared gives us A squared plus B squared, where C is the hypotenuse. But how did we derive this formula? Let's see. Let us take a line segment and divide it into A and B. And in the same way, we will draw a square. If we join all the four points, then we get a square. Let the lengths of the sides of the square be C. The total area of the outer square will be a plus b times a plus b, which will be a plus b the whole squared. The total area of the outer square will be a plus b the whole squared, which will be a squared plus 2ab plus b squared. And we know that the total area will be equal to the sum of the smaller areas. So inside, there are five areas. The area of the square is c squared. And there are four triangles with areas one half times ab. Hence, the sum of the areas will be c squared plus 2ab. When we equate them, 2ab gets cancelled and we get a squared plus b squared equals c squared. And that proves the Pythagoras theorem.